Well, this first day of garlic planting kind of went how I thought it would. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get out there and do all this planting. Turned out to be like a 60 degree day and just really nice. So we're over at the property and uh, we brought the soccer ball. We kicked the ball around a little bit. We played some games because the kids have been in a really game mood today. In fact, we played this camel racing game this morning which was actually super fun, but man, there's a lot of games that teach kids how to gamble at a really young age. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all it is. It was betting on camels, like a camel race. And you bet on which camel you thought was gonna win and you kept betting money and uh, yeah, really interesting. <laughs> but definitely a family game and it was a lot of fun. Oh, you coming? Yeah. What's up? What's, what's 30 take away from 70? Uh, 40. <laughs> he's still playing Pokemon. They both beat me, him and his sister, and now he's playing his little brother. Oh, see how that goes. But I got this nice little package right here, guys. That should uh, help when I actually get to the plant and make it go a lot faster. Then the first lady, a single mom working two jobs. She crumbled to her knees. And with a broken sob Said yes of course between her tears I do believe it's true A person should be compensated for the work they do Well it's called Montana Giant But if you look at it, this is an example of one head of it uh, it doesn't seem very giant to me. So I've just kind of named it Montana. <laughs> uh, so I got a half a pound of this. This is stuff that I've grown from my own personal seed stock the past few years. So I know that this stuff grows well for me. It grows well where we're at. And it's, like I said, it's always been a pretty good one. I love the colors it gets on it. You can see that really rich purple on the skins. And I really like that. So as far as it being giant though, I've never actually had any massive looking cloves or heads come off of this thing uh i mean they're a good size for garlic but they're not like what you would think of when you talk about giant you know what i mean When we talk about garlic we usually talk about pounds how many pounds did you plant so my one pound of montana giant garlic actually gave me 105 cloves so you think about it one pound which was about maybe 10 heads 10 or 11 heads something like that is going to in turn give me 105 new uh, heads of garlic that's going to be massive I almost forgot to tell you what we planted on our first day of planting. The first day, like I said, I didn't get as far as I wanted. I, I had hoped to get a lot more done. But I'm going to get out here and bang it out one of these other days. We still got a good week. We got a whole solid week here where we can plant and we'll be okay in Michigan, uh, zone six. Uh, so a nice spell this week. It's all warm. We got some nice little rain coming. So it'll be kind of like a good mix, right? It'll be a little bit rainy, a little bit uh, nice and warm temperatures in the 60s. Perfect to be starting that garlic, really. Uh, and then it was going to slowly start freezing from there and we'll get into our freeze later in the month. So I think it'll work out perfect. But I did plant the Montana Giant today in Cuban Purple. Now, Montana Giant is for my own seed stock when it comes to the Cuban Purple. I ended up buying that because I used it a couple of years ago and I really liked it. We used it mostly for culinary purposes because it was a really nice uh, flavor garlic. Uh, so what I did grow, I just used at home. I didn't really save it for seed stock, but I remember it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get some more of that. So I got a pound of that, a pound of the Montana Giant that I saved myself. So first two pounds in on the first day and we still got like eight more pounds to go, but we are going to whip it out. I guarantee it. So before I could do my first bit of garlic planting, the kids have decided that they need to take me on in a Pokemon tournament. I've already lost one round to this guy. Did you beat me at Pokemon? Yeah! How bad was it? Was it really bad? You beat uh, me good, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Alright, well let's go enter the arena. E says that she's ready. She's going to beat me next. Supposedly. There we go. Now we are in the arena, in the dome. 
She's all set up. I got my card set up. I'm ready to lose. I said you sure are. Talking smack, are you? Huh? Huh? My turn. You're drawing a card. Put him there. And. For bigger and because I have one. I do have one. Try it. Can I attach another one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have damage. Now too. I do 20 damage. Both have now damage. you're down to 50. Well, I'm calling day one quits. Got a few rows in. Not as successful as I had hoped, but it's rolling. So I guess I'll be doing a little bit here and there. We got a really nice long week of warm weather ahead, so I guess that works to my benefit. Now it's just a matter of not working a million hours and uh, finding a little bit of time here and there to come over here and get the rest of this finished. Since E was such a good helper out of the garlic patch, I told her we could go play some soccer before we went home. Whoa! You're supposed to use your feet, buddy. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. Remember to be bold and grow bold and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.